this week on Open Foss Training. We'll be installing VirtualBox, guest editions, snapshotting VMs, and learning how to import and export VMs. Greetings and welcome to Open Foss Training. I'm your host, Matthew Williams. And as I said, we'll be doing a few th additional things with VirtualBox this week. And to go over those, VirtualBox guest editions give your VM additional power. It'll allow you to do things like be able to resize the window of your virtual machine. That way you're not stuck at a little 800 by 600 window, making it much more comfortable to work inside of. We'll also be showing you how to import and export a VM. That way, if you want to share the VM you're working on with friends, you can easily do that. Or you can also just use it as a way to back it up. That way, in case something happens, you have a backed up copy for later. And the other thing we'll be covering is how to snapshot a VM. Now, snapshotting is taking a save of a file, but taking a save as time progresses. So if you do something now, and then you do something else, and the second thing you try doesn't work, breaks your system, you can roll back to the original without any fears. That way you can experiment to your heart's content and always know you can get back to a safe point. So this is a really great feature of VirtualBox, and that's what we'll start with. So we'll go ahead and we'll switch on over here to our virtual machine to our Windows 10 desktop, I mean, and to VirtualBox Manager. And as you can see, here's our window. This is actually what it normally looks like with, you know, the details here. And if you've noticed, there's this button right here that says Snapshots. So if we click that, we're taken to the Snapshot view to see, you know, what snapshots. And currently, all it shows is current state. So to take a new snapshot, we simply click the little camera icon to take a new snapshot, or you can hit Control Shift S. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And it is going to ask you to name your snapshot. And we're going to call this, you know, pre guest editions. Since this is going to be right before we install the guest editions. And you can give a little bit of a description to help you remember what was going on at this point. So go ahead and click OK. And there you go. You've just created your first snapshot. So if anything goes wrong, you can easily, you know, click here. Right click on it. And you have a couple options. Retor restore, delete, show details. And if you show the details, it'll show your description, the time it was taken. You know, a lot of useful information so you know where you can go back to. And if you go, you know, right click and choose restore snapshot, it goes back to that exact point in time. Really great, really useful way to do things. So we'll go ahead and start up our VM and get ready to do our next part. Here we are with our mach virtual machine running and to install it or to install the guest editions. First thing we need to do is log in. As we've set our password previously of password, go ahead and enter password and enter. Now to install the guest editions right here, you choose the option devices and down here on the bottom, you have an option to insert guest editions CD image. Go ahead and click that. And as you can see, it pops up into our virtual machine. It says VBox edition contains software intended to be automatically started. Would you like to run it? Now, if this is the first time you've tried to run this, VirtualBox will automatically go out and download the file for you and insert it. So it might take a minute for you if when you run this the first time. But as you can see, you know, here's the install dialog. Go ahead and click run. And since, the, you know, this is doing something to modify the system, it wants, you know, administrative rights to do that. So we need to give it 
our password, you know, our administrator password, which in this case is password, and go ahead, drag the window over a little so you can see what it says and click authenticate. And this will take a minute for it to sit here and run. And it'll go through the process itself. And I found with uh, Ubuntu, it tends to include everything you need to make this happen. So we'll just give it a minute to run and we'll be back right after it finishes. All right, and as you can see, it's finished the process, and it says, you know, it tells us what it's done. It's built a few kernel modules. Now, kernel modules, you can think of these a lot as, like, drivers for Windows. So, it's built some drivers and insert them into our system, and it's finished and just says, please, you know, press return to close this window. The next thing we need to do is restart our system to install or to finish the install process. So go ahead and click the gear icon. And choose shut down. And choose restart. And we'll give the machine a moment to restart here. So when this is done, we should be able to resize our virtual machine and have a nice couple nice other options at our availability. So we'll unlock the machine again with our password of unlock me and just enter your password of password and here we are logged back in. Now if you grab one of the corners and drag it out you'll notice that the screen now resizes along with the window. So it's not quite showing it on my system the greatest because of the way I have the screen set up, but you can see generally what's happening here. You know, that we can resize it to whatever you want. This way you can have a lot easier time working with the VM. So, you know, drag it out to whatever size you'd like for in the future, making it nice and easy for you to work on. Or, there's also this screen icon right here. But if you right-click the little monitor icon and choose Virtual Screen 1, you can see where you can easily tell it what size you'd like it to be. So, if you've got a large enough screen to work with, you can set this to whatever you want. Now, something else you can also do is up here in view, you can click full screen mode, which is host F. Now, host F is your right control key on your keyboard. So always remember right control. So if you hit control F, you'll get this little pop-up warning you first that it'll go full screen mode. You can go ahead and click switch. I'm going to click cancel for now. But if you do this, it'll make the, the window the full size of your screen. And if you hit right control F again, it'll minimize. It'll take it out of full screen mode again. So like I said, this gives you a very close experience to working with you know, a Linux machine running full speed. So, with that done, we're going to go ahead and shut down the VM. And here we are back at our VirtualBox Manager. And let's go ahead, and since we've just finished things, go ahead and click here, Current State. That's the state of our machine after shutting down the VM. Go ahead and click our camera icon again. And we'll call this post guest edition install. 
and tell it that this is, you know, after installing guest editions. So now, if something goes wrong, we can roll back to, you know, the state where we installed the guest editions for the first time, or we can roll all the way back further to where before we even installed them. Now, the final thing I want to show you is how to export a virtual machine appliance. And to do that, it's very simple. You click File, Export Appliance, and you want to be on the machine you want to export. And as you can see, it gives you the option Virtual Machines to Export. We've got OFT Linux System chose. So go ahead and click Next. And it's going to ask us what settings we want to use. The default is fine. And it's going to show us here where it's going to export it. Go ahead and click Next. It's going to show the settings it's going to use. And you can go in here and you can add in additional information that you would like. So that's your choice. And then just click Export to finish. All right, and as you can see, the process is finished for exporting our virtual machine. And if we wanted to import one, the process is very simple. You go ahead and click File, Import Appliance, choose our file selector, and choose the location where you either saved one down or downloaded one from. Click it and click Open. And it'll give you the option of you know, appliance to import, go ahead and click next. It'll show you the settings for it. And here's where you can tweak some settings if you wanted before you do the import. Now here's an important one I suggest you always click. Reinitialize the MAC address of all network cards. This will make sure that the network card on your virtual machine is new. So if you're importing say two versions of the exact same machine, they each get their own unique MAC address on your network, which can be pretty important. Then just go ahead and click import. And it'll you know take a minute or two here, depending on the speed of your system to run. Since I already have this machine in, I'm gonna go ahead and cancel the process for now. But when it was completed, you'd be presented with, you know, your virtual machine here ready to go. So I'd like to thank you for taking your time to watch this week's video and learn a little bit more about how to put VirtualBox to good use in your exploration of Linux operating system. So, and not only can I, you know, not thank you enough for taking your time to like, watch, and subscribe this video, but I have to also be sure to thank the producers, Think Penguin, uh, 